undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Yuri Rojas. Come on! Hey guys, welcome back to Athlete Central. Today we are going to talk about the UFC light heavyweight champion, one of the most unorthodox fighters in the UFC, Yuri Denisa Prohashka. The Czech has adhered himself to fans by putting on exclusively exciting fights throughout his 33 fight career, amassing an impressive record of 29, 3, and 1. Yuri has now been the light heavyweight champion in three different organizations cementing himself as the best 205 pounder on the planet at this minute. Playing target practice here. Big goal covering up, big goal covering up, Prohaska's going in there for the finish, Davos, it's over! Today we're talking about Prohaska's fighting career, lifestyle, and net worth. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Number 10, Upbringing. Yuri was born in Znoimo, Czech Republic on October 14, 1992. Yuri had a rough childhood. His father died when he was six years old, so he was brought up by his mother. We're sure his father would be proud of how far Prohoshka has come on his MMA journey and in life. Prohoshka was an athlete, even as a kid. The Czech was a floorball player, which was quite a rare sport, but builds up physicality. Prohoshka's reckless fighting style is reflected in his time as a freestyle BMX rider. In fact, the most conventional sport he played was football, playing as an amateur for his local football team. Number 9. Hooligan Club As a teenager, Prohoshka apparently got into street fights on a weekly basis, and over 100 times overall. Eventually, this led the youngster down the path of football hooliganism, where he would take part in organized street fights on behalf of his local football team, fighting in 30 versus 30 brawls as well. Unsurprisingly, this is around the same time that he got into martial arts. Yuri started training in Thai boxing, something we can see in his fighting style to this day. Prohoshka got into MMA because of the video game Tekken and watching clips of the likes of Mirko Krokop and Fedor Emelianenko. Number 8. Muay Thai Prohoshka first competed in a professional sport when he started practicing Muay Thai. The martial art is not considered to be essential for MMA, but a lot of fighters have succeeded in the sport with that Muay Thai background. Fighters like Darren Till, Ioana Jungjajic, Edson Barboza, and even the queen of the flyweights, Valentina Shevchenko. Yuri was very successful in that sport, but at the time he was competing in a lower weight class at 190 pounds. In 2011, Prohoshka won the Czech National Championships in Muay Thai in that weight class. Number 7. MMA Prohoshka made his MMA debut back in 2012 against Stanislav Futera in Gladiator Championship Fighting, which is a promotion based in Europe. Yuri spent the first 16 fights of his career predominantly fighting in the promotion with a few one-offs at promotions like Fight Nights Global. The Czech managed to capture the title at GCF and was eventually signed by the Asian-based promotion Ryzen. Yuri had 12 fights in the promotion, winning 11 of them, 10 by knockout. He caught the eyes of many of the hardcore fans during his stint at the promotion, and for good reason. His fighting style was electric, and he managed to capture the Ryzen belt and have a title defense before signing with the UFC. Number 6. UFC Yuri debuted in the UFC in 2020 and got thrown straight into the deep end against 7th ranked 205 pounder Volkan Ozdemir. The fight was an exciting back and forth, but Prohoshka powered through and got the knockout in the second round with an overhand right. Went for the flying knee. Oh, there it is! Yuri Prohoshka! This performance earned him a whopping $153,000, which is exceptional for a debut. His next fight was another barn burner against former title challenger Dominic Reyes, who was compensated very well for that, getting $214,000. The most recent fight was his title challenge against Glover Teixeira, a fight that he looked like he was losing until the fifth round. Glover made a questionable decision to go for a guillotine, and Yuri subsequently finished him with a rear naked choke. Yuri reportedly earned $350,000 for that fight. Prohoshka's net worth sits at over $1 million, but that is just an estimate. Fun fact, Prohoshka actually rejected a contract from the UFC a few years ago because he felt he wasn't ready to have a run to the championship and wanted to join when he was in perfect shape. Safe to say this worked out for him with the light heavyweight belt around his waist as proof. Number 5. BJP Yuri Prohoshka is one of the rare fighters who has their own website, which is called BJP, where he sells merchandise. He was doing this before he was even a champion, and that's because his popularity in the Czech Republic is massive. 
He got a champion's welcome after his victory over Glover Teixeira with 7,000 people attending his parade in Brno. Yuri sells all types of things, hoodies, t-shirts, socks, hats, bracelets, badges, phone cases, you name it. They also sell food supplements, sports equipment, and something called Samurai Shot, which is Yuri's brand of alcohol. Yet again, he is one of the few fighters to have this along with the likes of McGregor and Masvidal. Number 3. Sponsorships Prohoshka's sponsors are almost exclusively based in his home country of the Czech Republic. Yuri has all kinds of sponsors. Local Czech betting firm Fortuna are one of his main sponsors. The fighter promotes the firm to his fans and encourages them to use it. As is the case for almost every high-profile UFC fighter, Prohoshka also has a CBD sponsorship, and that is also with a Czech company, Fitcan. The Jetsam Gym of his home country where he trains is also a sponsor. It is rare for gyms to sponsor a fighter, but like Prohoshka strays away from the conventional in fights, he does so in sponsorships too. This is also shown by Telly sponsoring him, which is a Czech cable company providing internet and TV channels. The final significant sponsorship is the food company ActiveBox, which specializes in healthy nutrition. Here is a list of all of his other sponsorships as well. Now it is unknown how much Prohoshka makes from these sponsorships, but since he is such a big star in his homeland, we assume that it is quite a bit. Number 3. Spending In terms of spending, Prohoshka likes to travel, and he's been around the block fighting for organizations like Ryzen, GCF, and the UFC, and have allowed him to travel to Europe, Asia, and the United States. But he also likes to travel around Europe independently, places like Greece. When it comes to other spending, let the man himself tell you. Well, with your performance in the cage, you got the fight of the night and the performance of the night. $100,000. What are you going to do with that money? I will buy some expensive car and crash it for something. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I need to pay my house My house still. It's, I need to pay some money to my house. And uh, after that, sometimes when I... I I like I don't like to yeah I like the money my egos I like like the money to have everything the the girls the cars the uh, the expensive ships and <laughs> and the big parties yeah but uh, the other side from myself wants to live just in the forest in the small house and practice day by day just practice and uh, going for the mastery going for the mastery day by day nothing else that's i think that's the most uh, realist side in my inside me number two bushido first off let's explain what bushido is it is a moral code concerning samurai attitudes behavior and lifestyle there are seven principles courage respect integrity honor compassion honesty and loyalty these are quite obviously positive traits in a human being, and Prohoshka has fondly adapted them. Yuri has gotten these from a book that he read. Again, let the man speak for himself. Second coach, when he when he came to to, to our team, he gave me the book of, of book of five rings from uh, Miyamoto Musashi's, and uh, there was rules Bushido Bushido moral moral code that gave me the basement the the base for 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 the martial arts something which I which I can use for for myself like for a person in every in daily situation and uh, I like that I, I started to live that I started to live that and I'm so and I'm so glad for 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 that he took the words of this book as his own and found a purpose he said he was looking for a set of rules after his father passed away and this book gave him that and a true motivation for life Bushido has also influenced his fighting career adopting a live or die attitude in the octagon number one hobbies Yuri adopted some of his hobbies from Bushido as well. Prohoshka loves to go in a forest and train there. There are numerous videos of him in lakes or rivers screaming out loud with the echoes being heard like some sort of a warrior movie. Prohoshka also likes to watch football, or soccer in the US, which is unsurprising given the fact that he used to play the sport. Prohoshka likes to play Mortal Kombat, which interestingly enough was something the UFC was trying to emulate in its early days, and Yuri enjoys traveling as well, particularly to Greece, and his favorite hobbies are meditation or reading, yet again embodying the Bushido mindset. And that wraps up today's video about Yuri Denisa Prohoshka. So what is your favorite Yuri Prohoshka fight? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to never miss a video. Until next time.